They stroll slowly through the garden here at the Haven on Gabriola Island, slow enough to smell the flowers, hear the birds, and to reflect on what the Haven is. On the surface, if you objectify Haven, you could say this is a pretty strange place because people are, expect, are expected, they're invited to be open and honest and to share their deeper feelings. And so that's certainly different than you're expected to be out in the world. And people from out in the world have been coming to the Haven for nearly 30 years now. It's been hailed by some as one of the best kept secrets on the West Coast. The Haven boasts almost seven acres of waterfront property edging Taylor Bay on Gabriola Island. There are 12 main buildings for sessions and accommodation, including the Phoenix Auditorium. Bennett Wong, now 82 years old, suffers from MS, and Jock McKean, who's a lot younger than that, founded the Haven in 1983. I think human beings were contending with the same issues we always have, which is always boils down to objectification. If we objectify each other, turn each other into what I want you to become or what I don't want you to do, then we're at war with each other. And we're suspicious and we're afraid and we have to be defended. Um, so our work at Haven is for people to find the capacity in themselves to let that go. We're here in the gift shop at the Haven and the bookshelves are lined with personal development books, many of which have been written by Ben and Jock. Their most recent is The Illuminated Heart, Perspectives on East-West Psychology and Thought. They've written most of their many books together. In fact, they do almost everything together. They say they've been apart for only about 14 days in the last 40 years. He's my muse, my life partner, was my teacher, is my teacher, is my student, they're the person that I respect the most in the world. It's one of the funniest guys I ever met who knows me inside out and backwards and <laughs> still puts up with me and wants to be with me. I am more of me for being with you. And most people want to know if they're gay. They say that's irrelevant and that labels don't really serve any purpose. Sexual orientation aside, the connection between these two is something many people strive for, but never find. Rachel Davey is the executive director at The Haven. She took the Come Alive program in 2001 and found something here that she hadn't anywhere else. Rachel was living in the Mediterranean, had an international career, made plenty of money, and was successful in life. But I just had this feeling that something was missing and I kept finding myself over and over in the same spot of there's something, you know, something's not right there. There must be more, but I'm not finding it. I'm not able to find it in my life. And I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. The Haven offers a wide variety of programs for adults, teens and children that fill up a year in advance. It is a certified educational institute and offers a financial aid program that is crucial to allowing access for everyone, regardless of financial circumstances. The underlying philosophy of all the programs here is to embrace connectedness through diversity. I can take an interest in your different point of view and you can take an interest in mine and in that process we can become closer and understand each other. This is the, the breaking down of the, uh, of the separation and we can share diversity. The Haven became a not-for-profit organization in 2004. They offer programs all year, and they are one of, if not the biggest, employer here on Gabriola Island. Ben and Jock are hands-off these days, living day by day as they experience the knowledge and emotions that go with knowing that Ben is in his last phase of life. That one of us is going to die, and the other guy is going to have to clean up the mess. and. So we're trying to live the pain of loss while we're together and anticipate as much as we can what the, what the, what the physical loss is going to be. Um, We've been a team now because we don't want to sort of sweep that under the rug and then sort of suddenly be shocked by the whole years. thing. 
Ben and Jock and their work here were acknowledged with an honorary doctorate from Vancouver Island University in February 2012. Jock says he was moved by the sincerity of the gesture and when asked if he was proud, he warned about the dangers that the sin of pride can bring. Ben says he's complete in his life, he's found love and intimacy and connectedness and while he's not hopeful for the future of mankind, he has faith, which means simply that tomorrow will come and life will continue. At The Haven on Gabriola Island, I'm Kate Bergen for The Daily.